aka powders we're getting right into it i'm not adding a lot around this video the reason for that is these two individuals <laughs> on this layover ed piscor and jim rugg uh, they have been the subject of a lot of videos of mine and it's not really them uh, i attack their ideas on comic books pop culture their takes uh and overall uh, I'm just critical on the conversations that they put forward when it comes to the idea of comic book commentary, and there's a lot that goes around that. Now, the history of comic books is so large, it's so big, that we can get multiple, multiple, multiple takes uh, and, and angles and crevices and veins, as I like to call them. We can go on and on about this stuff, but there are commonalities and there are truth to a lot of these uh, items or, or topics or talking points. It was brought to my attention recently that Ed Piscor, uh, he it looks like he's wrapped up in a, I don't know, a DM, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's sensational, but it looks like he DM'd a 17 year old girl and kind of, um, from her perspective, he began to groom her by love bombing her over her artwork. Now, uh, when it comes to the world of comic books, uh, there's, uh, you know, like this, this is something that, that's quickly called out and dealt with. If I look at cartoonist Kayfabe uh, as my arts nemesis, just when it comes to commentary, baselines and foundations to a lot of these thoughts that are prevalent in the comic book industry and I'm talking about the history and the perception we have of a lot of this work uh, I still don't like their positioning to this day but I will say this uh, it is far too early to jump to any type of conclusion when it comes to creepy Ed Piscor's exact behavior with this girl and I'm not saying woman, I'm saying girl. Now, um, she has doxed him. She has, and, I, and I'm not really making any of this information available at all. Um, maybe later, but I just wanted to bring it to the attention of my followers because some of you have already reached out to me. When someone gets doxxed and someone gets doxxed uh, in the Instagram story of this manner, which isn't uncommon, uh, there's a lot of different individuals on, on different areas that have done this and a lot of it turned out to be true or accurate. I'm not questioning the method of her dropping these DMs or screenshots with her commentary to the masses. What I'm questioning is exactly where we are and we just don't have enough information now. At this time, Ed Piscor has disabled the comments on his Twitter. You cannot comment on Ed Piscor quote on Twitter. Uh, but we will have to hear from him. And if we don't, this is only going to get worse for creepy Ed Piscor. Now, just keep in mind, I've al always called him creepy because uh, just from watching his videos, he comes off as that. He, he really comes off as someone uh, with a limited worldview. And a lot of the times people who, you know, like it's it's a little bit of a uh, amalgam of things. Limited worldview, you don't really live a physical lifestyle. Uh, you overall don't look healthy. And then you commit your entire life to comic books and manga and, and anime. Um, you know, like socializing becomes something of uh, a fantasy. And uh, this is where social media rolls in. So I will say, just from my perception, Creepy Ed Piscor has fallen um, in line with what I thought he was capable of. But we have no evidence outside of these initial drops from this girl. And we're just going to leave it at that for now. But I do feel like uh, if I am to look into a crystal ball, that if Ed Piscor does not address these DMs, uh, it's going to be, uh, there's going to be some hell to pay. And as far as I know, uh, cartoonist Kayfabe is his venture and Jim Rugg is along for the ride. So cartoonist Kayfabe would actually go down with Ed Piscor. But we have to know because uh, we have to just put this a little bit in perspective. If the actions of Dave Sim were of that of the modern day, Dave Sim and Cerebus would have been canceled uh, quicker than a pin would have dropped from your hand or a penny. I don't know. 
that's a bad one. <laughs> you guys get the point. So, yeah, so just bringing it to you. No frills, no intro, no anything. Let me know what you guys think. Rock and roll.